Hi friends, we're sewing. <laughs> Hey, it's Mads, and I'm going to make a dress today. Well, maybe not today, but in the next few days, I'm going to make a real garment, a garment that I've made from scratch. Previously on this channel, we have dabbled in sewing, and I have been like practicing my sewing skills, turned a like puffer jacket into a tote bag. We did some like custom alterations on an existing dress that I already own. We've also like made our own tote bags, but today we are pulling out the big guns. I have a pattern here that I have purchased off of Etsy. I will link it down below. I, it's not an affiliate link, it's not anything. Um, I just thought it was pretty and it looked like I could do it. I have picked out two different bed sheets that are like off-white, white with like flower motifs on it that I thought would be pretty. And we are going to turn those bed sheets into a dress. Am I really doing this? Am I really gonna be able to do this? I'm gonna be able to do it. I'm gonna be able to do it. It's Leo season. I can do anything in Leo season. Taking my time as the sun it shines on me and everyone that has come to find. This world is cruel, but there's nothing. I have to move this to the floor because it's just, I'm realizing that this is gonna be a little crazier of a like jigsaw, which is chill. I'm into that, and I can cut out all the pieces once they're all together. So did times where I'd rather be. They give me love and they set me free. The ocean's tides can live without the moon. And all in the same goes for me and you. Let's go slow. Living in the moment oh, is the only right. truth. The cat's approved. Uh, I'm back on the floor. I always find an excuse to come down here. It's my favorite place to be. So I'm going to cut this out. I could read the instructions. And if I, if I mess this up, it is not the girl who made this pattern's fault. If I mess this up, it is not the girl who made this pattern's fault. It's my fault. Because I read the instructions once. I mean, I breezed, I, I, I scanned the instructions once, and I feel like the next step is to cut it out. Like, that's what feels right to me. So when I watch Project Runway, they don't have like a big stack like this. Like, how am I supposed to cut it out? So I'm gonna cut it out according to the sizes on the size lines that I need for my body, you know? Let's go slow. Living in the moment is the only truth. Let's go slow. Living in the moment is the only truth. Because I was lining them up and when I originally cut them, those cut lines weren't perfect. Yeah, I did end up also going back and taping up the backs, like on all of the edges and seams where the paper met for each piece, just to reinforce it, because I just wanna make sure that it stays solid while I'm transferring it onto the fabric and I'm, it's not gonna move around or anything. And I'm not gonna like lose a piece. I'm reading this, oh God, one more time. Fold fabric in half with right sides of the fabric facing inward. Matching your salvage edge. Your grain line marked on your pattern should run parallel with the salvage of the fabric. Ooh. Catch. Because <laughs> it's...
this is my gather situation and I need to match it to this it's supposed to be this big that's the size it was in the beginning we have to gather this piece too I'm just confused <laughs> gather this one <laughs> this is why sewing is hard if you're dyslexic I'm gonna do all that but to this piece and I will be right back okay <laughs> we're back to where I thought we were I have this gathered to the size of the top of the right piece now and the next step is to repeat this gathering process but on the bottom edge so I'm going to zip that up quickly Now that I have these gathers done and these are together, I'm gonna put these aside and move on. And I now need, I think, that little piece. From bottom center lower panel, oh my goodness. It's like I knew the whole time. I need to attach the gathered piece with right sides facing in. Right sides facing together and this is the bottom. Okay. The Oh my god, it kind of looks like something. It kind of looks like something though. This next piece. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, guys, 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 guys. No. Way. That's a thing! That looks like a top. <gasps> okay, okay, I just have to do this other side. I am getting so excited. <laughs> all attached to so like the front tube you know it's gonna go like this that's cute uh it's getting pretty well getting late jordan's coming home and uh i just want to clean this up and make some dinner and we can pick this back up tomorrow i will see you bright and early and uh we'll keep at it morning so hi how are we i'm really proud with what we finished yesterday having the front bodice done and i can move on to the skirts which is good i think i'm making good progress i'm a little nervous about the skirt because i'm not the best at straight lines yet <laughs> i'm gonna just double check that all my notches are cut out and then get it ready to get sewing these are just like a bunch of straight lines to my understanding before we start to get into the underlocking, overlocking the edges. Shadow in the dark. So this is like the center of the skirt. Okay, this makes sense. And this is this, this yeah, yeah. And this is like where the slits go. I've overlocked this edge, these edges, and this edge. The right side's facing me, the right sides are facing me. So this will be the right side, and this will be the left as one, because it's backwards, and upside down and backwards for you, so don't, don't quote me. Even 
So at this point, I have full skirt for the outside, the front bodice. It is time to join them together. Like they're gonna be a dress. I'm, this is gonna be a garment. And I'm determined to finish this. My uh, instructions are talking about putting it together. Now we need to attach the bodice to the skirt. Take your main fabric bodice and match it up with the edge of your main skirt fabric with right side spacing. You should match up your darts and seams along the top stitch. Stitch in place and press the seam open. You guys, I am, <laughs> I am so proud of this. I, the first thing I did when I put it on was called my parents and was like, yo, I need you to tell me that I, I'm amazing because like, 
I'm so proud. It. I will say it's not perfect. There are a couple of things that when I go to make this dress again, I need to fix. There's a little bit of a fit issue in the armpits. You can kind of see that it's a little big. My like joining edges are a little eh. I couldn't figure out the tension on my sewing machine for the zigzag. And I struggled a little bit with the dart and I ended up not installing the lining because I did it all wrong. It didn't, it wasn't right when I went to install it. So I just put the dress together and wanted to put it on and feel the accomplishment. Thank you so much for hanging out with me while I made this. I am so proud. I have a lot more sewing coming up. So if you like sewing content, please click subscribe, hang out. Yeah, I've got some audacity. It's the gumption. It's also Leo season, so I'm, <laughs> I believe in myself a lot. So we're gonna do that. So stick around, I am so happy to have you. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it to the end of this video, you are my people. I am so grateful for you. I will see y'all later. Bye. I'm excited. Oh, hi. Very interesting. Do you have anything to say? Are you upset that you're not mic'd up? Anything? Don't fight it. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you.